I'm Wayward, and this is Command and Conquer 3, Kane's Wrath. Looking at another one versus one today between Futurama and Easy Hitch. And I, I literally just looked. So Futurama is the nod, Easy Hitch is the GDI. Okay, gotcha. Structure sold. Out. <laughs> and this is, of course, Tournament Dust Bowl, the no poker version with the um, Tiberium Spikes in the corners. Uh, as usual, I'm not entirely sure what specific flavor of Nod and GDI each player are, and we will uh, be able to discover that later if they start building sub-faction specific units. So, sorry about the uh, confusion. Um, I actually wish it would kind of tell me when I was loading in who the players were, uh, or there was some indication in the HUD beyond going to the spectator mode. Um, so we have a little bit of a combat going on here between a Rifleman squad and a Milton squad. Over here we have a um, squad pathing through Tiberium. There's those um, Rifleman going down there to scout, Milton coming up to scout. They will cross each other's paths and shoot at each other's faces. Both players uh, fairly, fairly, fairly or pretty traditional start. For both players, we have two refineries, we've got a couple of harvesters, regular harvesters, not locked harvesters, that does make a difference. In the sub-faction over here, we have these uh, nod harvesters, uh, two, three, out now, and moving the MCB. I love this MCB, I love watching its dumb little spider legs walk, I love it. It's perfect to me. And up here, we have the MCB, much more boring, sorry GDI, coming out for easy hitch. walking that spider over to his natural expansion. And a couple of pit bulls out, getting spotted by those riflemen. No, militants. Um, that's the handy thing about having these buildings up here. The pit bulls are going to be scouted, and Futurama is going to have a lot of warning. Uh, for Futurama's part, he's got those scorpion tanks out. Little foxhole down there to be annoying with. I think that's a successful. Got a refinery up here. Let's see. Rifleman squad and militant squad. Um, it looks like Easy Hitch is a little bit behind Futurama. Uh, actually, that harvester managed to kill off that weekend militant squad. Um, so far, it looks like. Easy Hitch is still at Tier 1. I don't see Tier 2 up for him. Uh, also, Tier 1 for Futurama, it looks like. Not too much going on right now. This APC is going to clean up those militants with ease. Uh, looks like a little bit of a choke, a little, little bit of a um, clog traffic jam going on over here with this refinery. A bunch of... Bunch of Power plants coming up. Looks like uh, at the moment, Easy Hitch has two refineries and got that barracks back up. Um, kind of low tech so far. There we go. We have Operation Center Tier Two coming up for Futurama. Got a couple of Scorpion tanks out. Reverse moving like bosses. These pit bulls running around trying to be annoying, uh, not actually doing too much, losing a pit bull, pit bull for his trouble. Um, not really a lot going on right now, just a bit of posturing and positioning and expanding and what have you. Easy Hitch has transitioned into Predators to counteract these scorpions. Uh, scorpion numbers, they're all over the place. There are several of them. It's not too bad. Um, easy Hitch is going to be extending, expanding down to this. I think that makes sense. He doesn't really have anything over here, so he's just going to expand down the side, keeping that MCB safe. No, actually, not keeping that MCB super safe, but there's enough stuff down here to scout if anything was coming. Um, Futurama with uh, 
double <laughs> air towers and tier three out. Got a bunch of avatars, couple avatars coming out right now. Um, and Nod Air is just really annoying at a couple of Venoms, it looks like. Um, so we had a sell-off of our refinery. We do have some rocket squads. We do have APCs with the AP ammo mixed in. Um, so we actually also do have some orcas. Where's the air for... Oh, there it is. A little push down here into Futurama's back side, that's kind of handy. Oh, we do have a gap generator disruption tower, sorry. Gap generator is from uh, over here, I suppose. Tips on the Okay, two pronged attack by Easy Bitch taking out that tower. Um, so, Futurama it seems like he's feeling kind of annoyed right now more than anything. Uh, back down to one air tower for some reason. Secret shrine out. We're searching something. A lot of infantry. Actually, a decent little combat going on here between the TBI forces and the Nod. Um, forced to repair that MCV. Don't want to lose that. Um, that GDO force, though, just completely cleaned up by this um, powerful and diverse Nada. Looks like we've got Confessors mixed in, as well as Tiberium Confusion. So that's pretty handy for Futurama. A lot of infantry. I love seeing infantry. I feel like a lot of these games so easily just come down to a bunch of vehicles. Um, but Easy Hitch looking a little... Uh, at a disadvantage right now. That's a small army compared to what Futurama's rocking over here. Yeah, scanner super right on top of that army. So Easy Hitch knows he uh, is not in immediate danger, but I would be scared if I saw that. And there's, of course, a bunch more over here. Um, a lot of militant rockets. There's not really much on the GDI side to take. Oh, we do have Juggernauts and Shatterers coming. Shatter. Really happy to see that. Uh, Juggernauts, I think, are also a good choice for their uh, kind of their AOE damage. I think laser capacitor. That's pretty cool. But yeah, the Tid Spike is not long for this world. Um, I do like this with the uh, rocket squad loaded into the building. But that's good for scouting and a little bit of incidental damage. Um, but yeah, both players kind of just biding their time getting these venoms healed up. Um, I do love the invisible base, the non invisible base. Pushing in. This is a pretty formidable army. We have the MCV along so we can build um, sonic emitters or other things. Oh, mine drop right on top of the GDI army, though. It looks like those mines are going to be taken out before they have a chance to activate, so no huge harm, no huge foul. Uh, this is a pretty beefy army, and it uh, looks like Futurama's kind of scared to engage into it too much. Um, these Droganauts are going to be really good for um, easy hits to be able to attack into this without really overcommitting his forces. Do have a couple of Firehawks circling over here, not doing too much. Um, I do like this attack from the side. There's just not a lot to it, though. Um, just got a lot going on here with this combat. I think uh, using these ooh, to get a little uh, EMP out. A couple of things to lock down. See for a second. Oh no, we've got to turn that down. Another EMP. Uh, brutal. I'm not sure what. Took the EMP army just kind of evaporated. More EMPs going down. Oh my god, I think this is fun mode. Um, already lost basically this whole army though, so I don't know if losing the time on top of that's going to be substantially worse. 
explode on the trail even with the laser defense. Don't feel like the Watchtower was a good trade off for uh, his whole con yard. Easy Hitch still uh, not quite out of the game, but without the con yard um, forced to rebuild that, that's going to be annoying at best. Uh, also, Easy Hitch is basically out of resources at this point. There's, there's a tiny little bit of Tiberium left, uh, and none of this has really got a chance to properly respawn. Meanwhile, on his side, uh, Future Armament still does have a decent bit of Tiberium left over. and that seven avatars eight eight avatars excuse me sorry about that i'm actually really interested in the game and just uh clearly sleep deprived so apologies for the excessive yawning um i don't know what happened to those venoms i kind of lost track of them i don't know if they got killed in that big combat they are very fragile and there was some some aa coming out um, I'm just not sure this is enough mana to deal with all these avatars. And I don't know if Futurama has anything else sneaking up his sleeve. These pit bulls, uh, this little force being a little annoying, um, not doing phenomenal damage, but a little bit of harass and uh, distracting Futurama. Probably worth it. Um, Buggies are going to drive that off too much, but these two pit bulls and one NPC are not going to do too much. Um, actually, decent mammoth numbers count for easy hitch. Um, Futurama wisely pulling back. Yeah. Easy hitch might have a chance if Futurama doesn't engage properly. A lot of infantry, um, these harvesters actually. Um, another mass combat, not the best angle, I think, for uh, easy hitch, but the harvesters doing a good job of taking out all those infantry, and that's kind of even the battle up a little bit. Uh, still nasty avatar numbers, and the uh, not trading super well against them. Slate like the numbers are still on. Still on a future on the side for now, with only like three or four mammoths left. Continuing to come out from Futurama, but those harvesters actually doing a remarkable job of cleaning them up. Um, it's close. It's close. The harvesters actually managing to kind of make the difference in this battle, which is hilarious. Um, kind of coming down to this last mammoth and this last avatar, or else this last kind of Sam Turret, I don't know it. Um, <laughs> the harvesters really kind of made it happen, and uh, the up takes out the avatar. Um, we have a very vulnerable construction yard right here that the tower is going to be out. Um, that was one of the weird fights I've ever seen, but one of the reasons I do love Game um, <laughs> Rats so much is because there's, there's always just some absolutely insane thing you can do. Uh, to turn things around, and there goes Futurama's con yard. I, I really feel like Futurama was really confident for a lot of this game. There's a couple of points where he seemed like he was a little um, scared, but even with all these rocket squads, I, I just don't think there's enough here. Those harvesters are just nuts. If Futurama can manage to kill this, I think he has a chance, but those harvesters, man, they just, they have an anti inventory gun on them, and that, that made a difference. Um, Futurama doing a good job of trying to fight back, uh, spreading out his infantry. The harvesters are crushing them right and left. That's just a big line of dead infantry. Ouch. Um, surprisingly, that went pretty well for... Futurama, easy hitch now pulling back, and this is this is where it's gonna hurt him. Um, Futurama does still have some harvesters. He would be long distance mining. Uh, not sure. Looks like he's down to 
hands of Nod only, so it's just going to be infantry from here on out. But Futurama actually managing to kind of make the infantry work. Those rocket squads just took out the mammoth in one volley. And there's only a couple of predators left. Um, we've got over here sniper teams. That's that's a couple of sniper teams, but I'm not sure what they're going to be able to do against this insane blob of confessor upgraded rocket squads. Um, APC is going to help, but again, there's just the sheer DPS of this. Just... It's really kind of not looking great. Oh, is he going to crush these numbers on the Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> not hard to come to make their, their own mark on the battle. Um, just crushing the GDI infantry. Um, serve to block off these tanks, I guess. I don't think they have a weapon on them. Futurama, however, does concede. Um, I think it came down to Easy Hitch just having, in the end, just, he could build vehicles. Um, but I, I love how back and forth these games can be. You know, I, At several points I was going to call it for Futurama, at several points I was going to call it for Easy Hitch. Uh, at one point I was absolutely sure Futurama had this in the bag. Um, and toward the end, I, I was just flabbergasted. I, I really think harvesters are what won Easy Hitch the game. That last big assault where he had like seven harvesters involved, um, just to crush that giant infantry heavy force that Futurama had been building up, and that was just kind of the, the last straw. I let those tanks get in and kill the conyard and, and the the factory and everything and wow um that was fun and also hilarious thank you for watching i'm wayward and this has been Danny Tucker 3 